Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. In an era of rapid technological development, competition among countries around the world in the field of science and technology has become extremely fierce. However, China has shown remarkable foresight and innovation in breakthroughs in core technologies, leading the wave of global technological development. Especially with breakthroughs in the fields of quantum communications and ultra-wideband visible light communications, China has demonstrated its strong strength and advantage over Europe and the United States for 20 years. These achievements not only attracted the attention of the world, but even forced the United States to proactively seek cooperation with China. A Breakthrough in Quantum Communication Technology Quantum communication is regarded as the development trend of future communication technology, with extremely strong confidentiality and global encryption capabilities. China's research and investment in the field of quantum communications are far ahead of other countries. It is particularly worth mentioning that the University of Science and Technology of China team has achieved remarkable results, successfully building the world's first quantum communication satellite network and realizing long-distance quantum key distribution. This lays a solid foundation for the construction of a quantum communication network integrating space and Earth. The joint test with DA Mao further confirmed that international cooperation in the field of quantum communication has huge potential and possibility. This breakthrough not only puts China 20 years ahead of Europe and the United States, but also opens up a new path for the development of global quantum communication technology. China's quantum communication technology breakthrough has caused a huge impact on the technology giant the United States. The United States has always been proud of its leading position in the communications industry. However, China's breakthrough has forced the United States to re-examine its technology strategy. As a veteran technological power, the United States has changed its strong stance in the past and began to seek cooperation with China in the field of science and technology. This transformation reflects the new pattern of global scientific and technological development and the rise of China's scientific and technological strength. Innovation in Dedicated Chipsets for Ultra-Wideband Visible Light Communications In addition to breakthroughs in the field of quantum communications, China has also achieved important progress in the field of ultra-wideband visible light communications. Recently, the Chinese Academy of Sciences successfully developed the world's first commercial-grade ultra-wideband visible light communications dedicated chipset, marking China's international leadership in the field of visible light communications. As early as 2015, China achieved an optical communication transmission rate of 50G per second. Now, the advent of this new chip has further consolidated China's dominant position in this field. This ultra-wideband visible light communication chipset has the advantages of high integration and low power consumption breaking through the technical bottleneck of short-distance communication. Its birth laid a solid foundation for the long-term development of the visible light communication industry. 
China's self-sufficiency in chip design and production makes it difficult for the United States and other countries to effectively block China's technology. China's scientific and technological innovation strength and independent controllability will not only benefit national security and economic development in the context of globalization, but will also make important contributions to global scientific and technological progress and the development of human civilization. New Opportunities for International Cooperation China's leading position in communications technology has made it an important player on the global technology stage. China's outstanding achievements in the research and development and application of communication technologies such as 5G and 6G have forced the United States to engage in in-depth cooperation with China to maintain its leading position in the global science and technology field. The United States has always been a leader in the global technology field by relying on technological innovation in Silicon Valley and other places. However, with the rise of China, the United States has realized that cooperation with China is the key to maintaining its leading position. This transformation not only contributes to the common development of China and the United States in the field of science and technology, but also injects new impetus into the progress of global science and technology. However, cooperation does not mean dependence. China's leading position in the field of science and technology is the result of a combination of factors including its talent pool, R&D investment, and innovation environment. The United States still has strong strength and influence in the high-tech field, and cooperation between the two sides should be based on their respective comparative advantages to achieve resource sharing and mutual benefit. Of course, Sino-US cooperation also faces some challenges and risks in the field of science and technology, such as intellectual property protection, technology transfer, and market access. But as long as we adhere to the principles of equality, mutual benefit, and respect, I believe these problems can be properly resolved. China's breakthroughs in quantum communications and ultra-wideband visible light communications are not only a technological innovation, but will also reshape the global industrial landscape. The rise of China has become a phenomenon that cannot be ignored, and how it will affect the global technological and economic landscape deserves continued attention. In this process, every breakthrough and success of China will be based on tenacity and wisdom, playing a hymn of victory.